In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to create a free landing page or funnel using Canva sites that look like this. Now we're creating a real estate landing page specifically for buyers to help your buyers take action and book a call with you because you are that agent. Now, if you're ready, be sure to like, comment and subscribe because you know, I got the vibes and let go. All right, before we begin here, let's first talk about Canva websites. And I say that with quotation marks because Canva websites are more so mock-up sites that are really single landing pages that you can design up to make look like a website. And here we are on canva.com slash website builder. I will link this in the description box below so you can have a better look at it. Again, you can make these sites to make them look good on desktop and in mobile, which I'm gonna show you how to do. But again, these are great to make for landing pages funnels and lead magnets, which we are going to make today in the case of creating a real estate uh, landing page for a buyer. Now, again, I want to show you right here that Canva websites are free. You can use them for the free version and pro version of Canva. There are some caveats here. So if you decide to use Canva free and you can have and Canva Pro, you have an option of having one free Canva domain and you can t make five websites attached to that domain. Or if you have Canva Pro and you upgrade to Canva Pro, you can purchase a domain through Canva and you have to renew that annually. And you also have the ability to um, use your own domain if you have one. But today we are just going to go free all the way. So let's head it over to the Canva homepage. All right. So right now I am clicked on the websites here. And again, like I said, they have templates you can choose from a variety of them. You can even search real estate if you want to, but today we are going to start off with a blank template. Okay. So I am going to create three pages here and I'm going to close this bottom one up just slightly. Okay, this is going to be a footer and typically what I like to do here is uh, put some social media icons. So you have one, two and three footer. Okay, so the first one, you know what, I'm going to make this into this green color and I'm going to make this into this, this beige color here. And finally, this last one, I'm going to make green as well. Okay, so let's build the front face facing page here. So I'm going to put some text here and I'm going to embed a video, a YouTube video specifically. So let me put here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a photo in. Uh, so you can upload a photo into Canva here. In this case, I have it upload into a folder and I am going to go graphics here and I'm just going to plop that into the background and I'm going to again I like to always reduce the transparency and I'm going to keep that probably around 25. Okay, now let's head into text here. So let's do T for text box. And if you have a slogan here, go ahead and use that. In this case, I'm just going to say, let us help you find. Uh, and then I'm going to duplicate that. And here your for ever home. Okay, so let's just make this bigger. And I am going to let's see here. Let's change up the fonts here. I'm just going to use open sans bold here and I'm going to change this font color and I'm going to add both a lift effect to each of the text right there. And then like I mentioned, we're going to embed a YouTube video. So go to your YouTube channel and I recommend if you are a real estate agent, you got to be on video and you got to be on YouTube. And if you want to learn more about social media strategies for real estate, you can book a call with me and learn what we do here at the Wolfpack here at eXp Realty because this is our forte. All right. So let me grab this video here. We're going to go back into our Canva design. Now there's three ways to embed a YouTube video into Canva. The first one, pretty simple. 
we just command or control V just like that and it will paste into here. Now, sometimes again, you might have some troubleshooting, which is why I'm going to show you the second way to embed a video. So we are going to hit the backslash key and that's going to open up magic search. So that's the backslash with the question mark key on your keyboard. And I'm going to search up embed, click on that. And you can also put your YouTube link in that way. Now, another way we can embed a video in here is go into the app section on the left hand side here at the bottom apps and we can search for YouTube. Okay. And now again, we just paste in our URL and now you can choose the video that is relevant to what you want. Okay. So let me just delete these videos. All right. So this is a video embedded here. Now I do just want to add a little emoji. Let's see here. We're going to do emoji and I'm going to filter this by animated because it's a website. I like this one, this one. Let us help you find your forever home like that. Okay. So that is pretty much the first front page done. Now the second page is going to be where a call to action is. So I'm going to embed another Canva design into here. We're also going to put our profile picture and some, again, some text and again, our call to action, which in this case is going to be a, a calendar link invite. So in this case, I have already opened a, another tab for my buyer's guide. So this is a buyer's guide that I also sell on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description box below. Again, if you're partner with me, partner with me here at eXp Realty and the Wolfpack, you get all my Canva templates for free. So this is going to help you save a lot of time. So what I want to show you guys is go up to the share button and we need to open up the more tab and we are looking for the embed icon right here. Now we specifically want the smart embed link. So we're going to head and copy that and we are going to go back into our design here and we are going to paste this in. So command or control V give Canva a second to recognize this. And there you go. You have an embedded Canva design into another Canva design, Canva design inception. All right. So now let's go back into elements and we are uh, going to grow into frames here. I'm going to grab this one here because, you know, we want to put our face here, right? I'm going to go into my logos section here. I'm going to drop in my photo. If you want to learn how to create a profile, design like this on Canva, check out the video I have linked in the cards above. All right. Now for some text here, textbooks. Okay. Now this part's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to speed up this portion of the video. All right, now let's go ahead and create the call to action button, the CTA. In this case, it's going to be a Zoom link calendar uh, booking site. So let's go ahead and go into elements here. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use this rounded square and I am going to extend that. And I'm going to change the color as well. Now with these shapes, you can actually use it as a text box as well. So let's just go ahead and do that for ease. Buyer consultation. Let's make this text a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to add a few spaces to the front here because I am going to look for a phone element here. Let's just use that one, size it down and let's also make this white. Okay. Now I'm going to group this together, command or control G, and I'm also going to add in a click here, GIF, let's put on animated. Let's use this one. 
so that they know that this is clickable okay all right that looks about good right so let's go ahead and add the link to this actual button here so in this case i use calendly if you're not familiar with calendly calendly it's spelt c-a-l-e-n-d-l-y calendly i think i spelled that right in this case i have a buyer's consult here so let me just show you what this link looks like when people click on it so again calendly c-a-l-e-n-d ly.com just look that up on google and this is basically a link to my google calendar and it's linked to zoom so what essentially what people can do is pick a time that best suits them and this will book a time into my calendar and create a zoom uh, link as well that people can click on and create that zoom meeting so that's a different tutorial in and of itself there's lots on YouTube, just look it up. So in this case, I'm just going to take that link and I'm going to paste it here. So click on your icon. We're gonna go up to the upper right corner here again. We're gonna paste that in and now it is linked. Okay, so that is the second page done. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video, I like to use a footer at the bottom so we can put in different icons that are also clickable, okay? So in this case, we are going to use email because that's always important. Email at the bottom here, change that. Color, and then we're gonna do Instagram. Let's just use that one here, change that. We're gonna grab YouTube. YouTube. Okay, and finally, let's grab a website. Website, I usually like to use this one. All right, so let's go ahead and just situate this nicely here. Okay. And you know what, let's just position them. So they're all in the middle. I I grouped them by accident. Tidy that up. Let's go ahead and make these bigger. And make sure that they are in the middle of the page here. Let's go ahead and add in our link. So here we are gonna go up to the top right corner again. In this case, all we have to do is just simply put in our email address, expealty.com. Oops press enter and then to check it it's going to populate to mail to okay now let's go and add in our instagram paste that in grab our youtube we're gonna paste that one in and let's grab our real estate site here or whatever site you have and let's paste that in. Okay, so that is pretty much your landing page built out. Now what I wanna show you up here is the preview button. Now we can see this displayed as the desktop version and the mobile version when we publish this as a website. So give it a moment to populate. There we go. Let us help you find your dream, your dream home or your forever home. Now we can play this video here there we go. That's a really old video of me. Okay, and then we can click this and it will open up our Calendly link, which is what we want. Um, we can also click through here as well through our buyer's guide. Let's, that, I know that's gonna open up my mail. I'm not gonna do that, it's gonna kick me out of this window. And, but again, do, do test out all your links to make sure. Okay but I do know that this is properly linked because I can see it in my window down here. Okay. Let me exit out of all of these links here. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like in the desktop version, okay? So, but what does it look like when it's in mobile? So let's see. 
So Canva is basically going to sh shrink it down like this vertically. And we can see that we have our headshot here, our call to action here, our buyer's guide is now down here. And again, we have our icons here. Now, what I do notice about Canva websites is that it reads almost from the left to right. So anything that you have here will come first. So if this were to switch around, so let's say, let me just show you this quickly. Let me move this over here and move this over here. Let's see what it looks like. So this is all up to you. It's all preference of how you want your site to look like. So just always play around with Canva and see what it spit out. So the first page right now, we have the profile picture, then buyer's guide, but in this, but we created that second page. So now it's the buyer's guide and then your profile picture. So in this case, I would recommend to just design it how we have today. Okay. All right. So now let's publish this site up here. So let's go up to the top of publish site and we are going to have without navigation we're going to use just the free domain again here like i mentioned previously you can purchase a domain through canva or you can use your own domain but again i recommend just going free all the way it's just so much easier that way so hit continue then as you can see here i have chosen my free domain as larissanian wolfpack because you know Wolfpack EXP Realty. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to edit that. So I clicked that uh, pen button. Now we can add in, let's say, buyer consultation. And here we can change what it looks like in the tab. So what they're referring to is like the uh, emoticon here and the text up here. So let's do, let's find home. Let us help you find your home that might be a little bit long but you know you choose what you want to now in this case we can also choose um a, an emoticon and now this is pulling logos from my brand kit here so i'm just going to use this photo i know you can't see it but it's it's this it's this photo here okay now we can add in a description if you want uh, i'm going to leave both of these off here and at this point all you have to do is hit publish Right, after that's done populating, let's go ahead and see what this looks like on desktop. Okay, so that's the look. You can play the video if you want to. Again, we already checked all if all the links worked previously in the preview tab, but that's how it looks like on your desktop. And again, you can just copy this link and paste it into your phone to see how it looks as well. Now that is how you create your buyer's funnel. And if you want to learn more about how to use Canva websites, how to design them and what to use them for, check out these videos right over here where I show you just that. So if you are ready, three, two, one, 